Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. So I'm shooting a couple of different videos today. So if you see me wearing the same clothes in multiple videos, it's because they were all shot on the same day for some of these initial starts to the videos. Uh, I do shower and wash my clothes and stuff in case you were wondering. But in any regard, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about growing cotton. This is another uh, kind of a test that I am doing this year. We're trying some new stuff. Besides this year, we're gonna be planting some old seeds and do an old seed test. We're getting bees this year and doing honeybees. We're growing flax to see if we can make thread and then um, weave it on a loom. The other kind of thing that we are doing this year is cotton. So I bought these little packets. Um, I got, I think, four packets of 10 seeds each. They were about three bucks and uh, we're gonna try growing some cotton plants and see how that comes out. So this is step one. I already have a tray here. So I can, as I dump water, dang it. Okay, so we'll try that again uh, and see if I can do it without spilling anything. But I've got a tray set up here with 10 pots that I've already bottom watered part of which I just dumped out over my basement bar and onto the floor. But other than that, I've bottom watered it, I've sprayed the top so the soil is starting to get a little damp, get some moisture in there that's good for the germination. Um, and then we're gonna plant 10 seeds. I'm just putting one seed per pot. I did buy four packets of these, so if things don't tend to sprout, I can, you know, back it up and add some more later. Um, so, Cotton generally is, should be planted in an area probably farther to the south where there is much longer growing seasons. I'm going to try growing cotton here this season to see if we can add that as another part of our sustainability of being able to make our own stuff with spinning into thread and weaving and all that kind of thing, which is part of our overall plan. We already have got our rabbit for the Angora bunny fur. Um, we're gonna be growing flax, and then we're gonna try some cotton too. Not a whole lot, just this is gonna be a test. So I'm gonna to try to start off right now with 10 plants, and we're gonna follow along throughout this season and see where it goes. So this is day one. We are February 19th, I think, or February 20th, I don't know, somewhere in there, late February, and we are gonna start our plants indoors and then see where it goes from there. So we'll see if we get any cotton this year. So I'm gonna get these planted and then we'll see where it goes from here. And so far, uh, five have popped up. Um, some have bigger leaves than others, like you can see here. There's a little tiny one coming up back there. This pot here has already some movement in the dirt and there's also a little tiny sprout just starting to pop through the soil on that one. So uh, four of these actually popped up yesterday on day four. So now that we're into day five, looks like so far, two, three, four, five, six, seven, by the time these couple other ones finish, uh, seven will have sprouted, and then we'll have to see what happens with the last three. We're about 16 days into our cotton growing now. And uh, they started getting kind of leggy. And they still are kind of leggy, but they've started to fill out a little bit more. So there's my plant so far. If you can kind of see that, the camera isn't cooperating with the uh, focusing. But they're still kind of leggy. And we had 80% germination of 10 seeds planted. Uh, we ended up with eight that sprouted, and these two empty pots didn't do anything. But they're starting to get more leaves on them now. Um, I got some roots coming out at the bottom. So I actually need to water these today. Uh, but so far, so good. This one little guy back here is falling all over the place. He's the one that's struggling. Let's see if I can't turn him around so he gets more light and maybe it will pop up some. Um, but we'll see how it goes. But Originally, it was just one long stem with two little leaves. Since I put them up close to the light, they've started to fill out a little more. The stems have gotten a little thicker as well. Um, so 
They're not probably as fantastic as they should be in this environment, um, but I think so far, so good. And they'll probably do better once I can move them out into my big greenhouse outside once it gets a little warmer outside. Okay, so now we're a couple weeks later and you can see plants are pretty tall and filled out now, these cotton plants. But they're a little on the floppy side. So I'm gonna take them and repot them into some bigger pots. I'm also working on hardening them off, bringing them outside for a little bit each day, getting them used to regular sunshine so that I can move them out to the greenhouse where they have more, to gr more room to grow because right now they're growing all the way up into the lights on the little mini greenhouses inside. I've already got roots coming out the bottom. Just a little bit. But a lot of roots have already popped up in there. So they are definitely ready for some uh, bigger pots now. I'm sure they're going to go through a little bit of plant, uh, transplant shock now, so they'll probably look a little wilty for the next couple days. But hopefully they will pick right back up. All right, that's a little bit better. And then I'm going to water these as well. But plant one's done. Eight to go. Okay, so it's been probably almost two months since we had an update on the cotton. And today, or this evening, we are putting it in the ground, and this will be the end of part one of growing cotton. <clears throat> now, when I first brought the cotton plants outside, started hardening them off, they did very well. Um, just out in the sun in the backyard, you know, I did a mix of shade and full sun over the course of a week or two. In fact, I had to kind of do it for about a week and then we got a batch of cold weather so then I had to leave them inside for like a full week and then bring them out and kind of start the hardening process all over again. But then I was able to get that done, I moved them into the greenhouse. I was thinking that, you know, cotton normally grows down south where it's, uh, or much farther south than here in western Maryland, where it's pretty hot and humid a lot. And I figured being in the greenhouse they would really like that high heat in there until it got warm enough outside for me to plant them. But apparently it was too much of a shock. So you can see here, I've got all kinds of leaves that used to be bright, beautiful green that are now kind of whitish looking with some dark spots underneath. Like they, they and in fact, this one is, is pretty crispy here. So they got a lot of sunburn in the greenhouse. It was too much all at once, I think, because in the greenhouse during the day, even when it might be 70 degrees on the outside, inside a greenhouse, <clears throat> it can get up to over 100 degrees. So I think that was too much. And so all of these cotton plants have now had severe sunburn. Um, but the good news is, is that the stems still look really good and it's putting off some little tiny new leaves. Even though these other ones are looking kind of sad, you see the mix of where it didn't get sunburned versus where it did. All the leaves used to look like this. Now a lot of them look like that. But we've got new growth. Little leaves coming on here and in a few other spots up here. It's putting on new growth. So I think, I think it's gonna be okay. When your plants get sunburned this bad, these leaves will always look that way. They're not gonna recover. But as long as your plants are putting on new growth, then you got potential for the plant to recover and be okay. So we're gonna plant, we're gonna try planting these because I was trying to figure out how to, where I was gonna put all these plants. Uh, we're gonna kind of spread them out around our garden fence and then there'll be flowers mixed in here. So we'll have like per eight foot section of fence, we'll have one cotton plant put in 
And then there'll be some like kiss me over the garden gate flowers and, and uh, if, if those do well and some other flowers probably mixed in. And we're gonna see how this all does. This is all a test for us, um, but it's going towards that sustainability thing that we're doing this year with trying to do some other plants where maybe we can get some cotton fibers uh, and start spinning those. And granted out of eight plants, we're not gonna get much, but you know, hopefully we can get some and start learning the process and then maybe do it again in following years and, and kind of build up our cotton stock as it were. So I'm gonna get these plants in and um, then we will follow up, you know, in a month or two and, and on the next part, as long as they do well, we'll see how the season progresses. Okay, so we've got all eight plants in now. Uh, you can probably see one here behind me, the one I started with, but there's one over here and they wrap around the fence line. Anyway, got them in. So now we're gonna see how this season goes and hopefully they will regain some strength back, uh, put off, continue to put off new leaves, get some big leaves, get some height, and then start giving us some cotton before the end of the season. Cotton does have a long growing season, so we'll see how it works out here where our season is not quite as long as it is down south. But this is part one of growing cotton from seed in Western Maryland, zone 6B. So stay tuned for a future episode later in the year where we see where it goes from here. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me again today. And whatever is going on in your neck of the woods, I hope it's gone fantastic. And I hope you try some new plants. Always try some new stuff. You never know might, what might work out for you in your area. And even if it dies, fails, whatever, hey, you've learned something in the process. And that's, that's the whole thing with doing this. You can't always be successful, but it's always a success when you learn something from the plants that you're working with. All right, that's my advice for today. We'll see you again soon. Have a great day. Namaste.